So we are Trio Menagerie. Uh, how many of you guys have been to some of our concerts already? Raise your hand. Yay. Awesome. And we've got some newbies. We like that too. Um, so we're, yeah, we're a group of furry classical musicians. We met at furry cons. Our first concert ever was us very drunk in a very small hotel room playing stuff together at MFF five years ago. So it's been fun to have all of our different milestones be at this con, and this is definitely our biggest one. Coming back from COVID with three separate, very different, very difficult concerts because furry cons are the one place we can play everything. Everyone just accepts we're passionate about it and people will show up and this is the only fandom where that happens. So we are just so excited today. Uh, something different we're doing for the first time at this concert, MFF has given so much back to us, so we want to try to start giving back to them. So we are raising money for charity. It happened a little last minute. You'll see we have my lovely, lovely cello case here. Please do not look at all the built up dog hair and cat hair. I opened it and you know how you never really notice things until you look? I opened it up and I'm like, oh no. There's a lot of stuff in here now. So uh, please do uh, throw in some cash. If we raise uh, 200, we're going to try to cash through it. At the finale, we will. I will be performing cello in fursuit. So we'll be the first time in a fur con probably you've seen a dinosaur actually play cello. So be sure to throw in some cash there for our lovely charity so we can finally give back to the con that's given so much to us. So this concert is very new and very special. Um, our first day we did classical music, uh, second day we did nerdy music, but today is extra special because it really uh, is sort of a culmination of why we do what we do. It's, it's not just about um, playing music, but it's about not only elevating the fandom, but also showing what the fandom can do, what furries are, well, more than what people think up front. And so, you guys wouldn't believe it, there is a very large set of professionally working classical furries which includes some very successful and talented composers. So today's concert, is com this is the first time ever performed newly commissioned works of classical music by furry composers. So just so exciting. And luckily we have two of the composers with us in the room right now too, which is extra exciting. Uh, and so we're gonna start with our very own furry composer we know and love so well, our Parrot uh, Vocek. He's gonna tell you a bit about uh, the piece that he composed in a flurry of, what, three, four days? Well, it's some breaks between them, granted, but still. Yeah, he did this in three, four days, and as you'll see, as he's talking and we're setting up our music, it's a lot of pages. Yeah, uh, my part's about 15 pages, just to give you guys some sense of how we are, but, uh, so my contribution to this is been actually sort of old and new together. There was a tune that came out of Spain, and I want to say the 17th century. Uh, they call it La Folia, which roughly translated, translates to madness. And it kind of became a thing that a bunch of composers all across town eventually did stuff with. The most famous first variations on this theme are by Corelli and Vivaldi. Rachmaninoff got some variations on this on this tune as well. Um, it was something I've always wanted to do because of adventures I had playing Baroque music. And then, and then she was just like, yo, we should get you something for the album. And finally I'm just like, you know what? I've been wanting to do La Folia for a long time. Let's do La Folia for String Trio. And then part of the way through composing it, we found out that her ex-boyfriend placed a fraudulent lane on a Subaru that she had. So I actually found, you told me about this a few days ago, I didn't realize that the fury, and honestly, it's given me a bit of grief, and I love the irony. It's loving grief, but... <laughs> yeah. So let's put it this way. It went from something I'd wanted to do for a long time into an expression of just pure apoplectic rage. <laughs> so... So something cool that he mentioned, what I like, and that kind of happened to this concert set that we didn't realize until we were trying to pick out the concert order, is there is going to be a bit of a timeline. So what's really neat about La Folia is, and something I love here does, he gets very programmatic and intentional with any, everything he writes. And in this case, you're gonna kind of hear La Folia in a lot of different lenses through classical music until we get to the end where you have a little bit of that hair, pizzazz and rage, uh, <laughs> as we like to know with our, with our feisty parrot. So please enjoy. And like I said, remember, start helping. If you guys wanna see this suit, play some music. Start throwing over those singles, tw tens, twenties, a hundreds. I know how to verify bills, so don't try to put a fast one on me. I work retail, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is his, right? Oh yeah. 
Phone's on silent, too. Wait, wait, wait. Phone's on silent. Aha.
patience. It got a bit late for me. In four days, you do that in four days? Four days! We were practicing, I remember I was practicing, we were, at the time, uh, it was this summer while we were recording our classical album, and so me and Chas were practicing, and uh, I just remember one day here, I was like, I'm practicing, and I come out of practice, and I was like, whoop, I finished 12 variations. <laughs> I was just sort of like, wait, what? So yeah, definitely a compositional theory, which I think this is just so hair. Like, oh, I love it. Um, so now we're on to uh, some composers we got to commission outside of the group. Thank you so much for your generous donations to the uh, charity. We're well on our way. It looks like to, I, I think I set, I think I set my uh, level too late. You guys think I should up our goal oh, no. for charity to play cello? I don't know. I know you guys really want to see me play cello as a dinosaur. I think we can up our charity goal. Yeah. We're at, I think we're probably already, we got all, I, I like the 20s. I'm looking, it looks like we have about 100. I would shoot for 200. What do you guys think we can do? 250? All right, let's say 250. Oh, wow. Are you guys making me up? Oh, wait. Oh, wow. <laughs> God damn it. Man, we got, do I, I know this isn't an after dark shirt, but do you want me to take my shirt off too? I mean, you know? <laughs> awesome. Well, yeah, we're well on our way. Please continue. Like I said, uh, this kind has given so much to us, so we really want to give back to the charity because also just another example of how fucking awesome furries are, right? So let's just let's bring it on. Yeah, all right. So on to the next one. I'm also talking because I just want to rest a bit, you know, from shredding it. Uh, so now on to a piece by our good friend Tonya Sa. Anyone here? Yes, Tonya. Yes, Tonya Sa. Oh, it was such a. Uh, she's so humble. I'm like all like so excited to commission her, and she's like, oh, I can't believe you guys want to commission me. And I'm like, duh. <laughs> uh, so. Also, uh, warning, fair warning, it's funny, so I was the one that was sort of in charge of commissioning, and so for me, what I wanted to do, I just said, just do you. I want to showcase you guys. But I'm a dinosaur, so we somehow, without coordinating, have three dinosaur-themed commissions. But there is, didn't, Garo, you used some bird song in yours, right? Well, we'll get to that in a bit. So there's technically a little bit of bird in one of them. There you go, here, right? And dragon's pretty much a dinosaur, yeah. So uh, Tonya here uh, from our, her piece from us uh, is actually going to be the, I love the title so much, it's going to be the title of the album. It's uh, Dinosaur Tracks. I asked her if she wanted me to say anything about the piece and she's like, just say my name. But I do know she took a lot of inspiration from Mexican classical composers. She's really been on a, a Mexican, composer, Mexican composer jam, so a lot of inspiration there. So I'm going to try to find it in my uh, mess of papers here real quick and we'll get started. Somewhat way right? I'm pretty sure you put it on one of your whole video. Yep, oh, I found it. <laughs> All right. All right, see? Dinosaur Tracks by Tonya Song.
215 here. So I really want to play cello and dinosaur suit, but I am a teacher and if I say I'm not going to do something unless my kids do it, I'm not going to do it. So I would say like probably 60 bucks more. So if you guys want to keep adding to our charity, please do. Um, next on, as I said at the beginning of the concert, uh, our um, the concert itself kind of ended up being a bit of a journey as far as uh, the sort of uh, inspiration towards the music. So our next composer, Cappy, it's kind of funny how we met him. We met him at a and &E a couple years ago. It was by complete accident. I was selling in the artist alley, ended up talking about music. He came to our concert. Turns out he was at uh, the compositional program at New England Conservatory next door. Um, and I don't remember the exact condition, but at some point during the concert, I said the phrase dino vibes, that I was giving off, giving off some dino vibes, or concert did some dino vibes, and he instantly thought, I need the name of commission that. So he decided to compose us something uh, called Dino Vibes. So this piece, Cappy has actually been quite an uh, uh, inspiration pushing uh, hair's boundaries, especially with rhythm. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's definitely some, uh, some of the stuff you heard in um, well, Folio, Folio yeah. was definitely uh, sort of a push from, how, uh, from uh, Cappy to, to, to branch out a little bit with the rhythm, which is both great and not so great for us because, man, we're, we're learning some really cool new stuff about rhythm. Irrational yes. time signatures. Wow. Irrational time signatures. <laughs> so I'm glad it's expanding our palette. So uh, I'm going to find out like my little cluster of music here, and we are happy to play Dino Vibes for you. Turns out it was right there all along. <laughs> Just hanging out. Just vibing. This is a pile of music here. Thank you. Thank you for the laugh. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs>
our last uh, new work for this piece. Let's see, am I going to play in dinosaur suit? Let's see how much we need. Okay, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. You need 50 bucks? 50 bucks between now and the end of this piece. We do have some time because uh, we got to do a little bit of setup. If you guys were here early, you saw us last minute getting this together. Uh, our two staff members that helped us out here. They're not here. Oh, and I already, I'm so bad. They told me their names, I already forgot, but they saved us so much because we have a little bit of canoodling to do. Like I said, this, um, this whole concert's been a journey. The more traditional stuff at the beginning, evolving into the more crazy, and this when uh, we got this in pieces, we got the string part, and when I first came to Dara, who by the way are lovely composers right here, um, when I first uh, came to her, uh, she said, you know what I really want to be doing is I want to do strings with electronics. You guys want to do that? I said, do whatever you want, we'll make it work. So we got the string parts first, and then when she sent the electronics, uh, I, I sort of, I didn't even listen to it first. I was like, she sent over the click track and I played. I wonder what happens when I'm playing, but I hear dinosaur roars. I lost my absolute shit just to like think, not only does this sound so cool, because I was excited when she set the string parts, because I already loved it, but to think, oh my god, we're going to go to a furry con, we're going to play classical music that has dinosaur roars in it. It's like, ugh. So I'm just so freaking excited to show this, share this with you guys. And we just got some cash dumped in. How are we doing? How are we doing? All right. We got, we're gonna save 40 bucks more, so you got time. Uh, so yeah, uh, are we are we good to set up? Yeah, I think we're good. All right, I just gotta stick some headphones in. So please enjoy Fossil.
this album. I've got flyers here for our Kickstarter. We're funding the album. Also includes what's a really special tier for it. Um, on our classical album art, we're going to have a your character here for an audience. So if you want to forever be immortalized on the probably first ever classical furry album, uh, be sure to check out our Kickstarter. It's limited spots. So wait, I should have been counting while I said that. All right. Oops. <laughs> All right, let's see. Four, five. Give us a drum roll, please. Wait, someone sing, someone sing the, the uh, what is it, the, um, oh. the game show music. Oh, uh, this is going to be a long drum roll. <laughs>
have more Jeopardy music? Uh. How fast do you suit up? Speed one, any percentage. Yeah, no, no, oh, don't pressure me. Bumblebee! <laughs> I don't actually know it. Just, just, shred, just play random notes. Better than rubber bands to attach fingers to fingers. <laughs> I'm all ears. Well, we need tactile feedback, is the trouble. <laughs> I'm afraid reindeer clumpers don't quite solve that issue. I don't know. They, they solve a lot of stuff. And it, it's a deer. Thank oh. you. Oh, sorry. How dare. How dare. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you. All right, there we you go. You guys can't see the back, so we're not worrying about that. There you go. I'm going to face you guys this way so you have the reveal. Are you playing music, Darrow? Is that what you're doing? Uh, oh, it's coming from outside, I think. Oh, thank you for the background music outside. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, like, it's like John Cage says, anything can be music if you try hard enough. No, I'm just thinking, like, why do, why do we not have a music? We should, I should write music for this song. Oh my god, you should! Next time, everybody, music will I put on a fursuit! Yeah. Alright, wait, wait. Almost there. You guys ready? Okay, now I need a drum roll. Alright. Yeah! Alright. Yeah, give me a chair. Oh wait, I need music too. <laughs> that was on purpose! That was for comedic effect! Susan! Did you just call me Jan? I'm in a dinosaur suit. Do you really want to intimidate me? Yes! Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to be playing for you is actually technically another furry composition if you think about it. Um, the, uh, for Halloween, I decided to, at a local coffee shop, play classical music like this. And I wanted something on theme for Halloween. So, uh, Hare wrote this for me. I'm not going to tell you what it is, because I'm pretty sure you guys will recognize it. I'm sweaty. <laughs> <laughs>
helping us reach our goal for charity. Uh, we've got flyers here for our Kickstarter. Feel free to come up and say hi. Uh, and thanks again. You guys make it possible to do what we do. Thank you for showing up, enjoying, and supporting us. So you guys have a great rest of your con. Stay safe and travel safe. <laughs>